Hello, everyone. Power rankings with Kamel and... Hey, 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 what the what? heck? What? What? Where's Circus? Who are you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where he went. Where's He's gone. Circus? <laughs> oh, oh, my, my goodness. God. Circus has been I've fired. Been I'm sorry, guys. No, what I'm just kidding. Heck? What do you mean? <laughs> no, I said it. I think I said it a couple times on stream, but Circus is taking a break until probably Arc 5. Uh, so in the meantime, you have Discount Circus and Kamel coming at yeah, you. Yeah, guys, you know, <laughs> it is for the best. We love Circus, so hey. we want to make sure he is in tip-top condition at of all course. times so he's able to bring us the the content we love and have fun at the same time hey my man's is a performer pal main you know he's coming back <laughs> so, so yeah if you are new here at the power rankings and you don't know what we do we take all the community tournaments from across the week look at the decks that performed in them and then rank them based on their performance a topic performance gets a deck one point a top four two points a top four a runner-up four points and the winner gets six points oh my god wow. first attempt at circus's script and i think i butchered it a little bit the, no it was perfect you got it <laughs> but kamel what if i have a tournament that's a, a best of one uh, no side deck can i enter that into the power rankings no you cannot in order to keep the power rankings consistent all of the tournaments have to have the same format that being rounds of swiss into a top cut all where right. the deck format is one deck plus a seven card side in which you can side a skill and the tournaments that met that criteria this week were boom the battle phase series the meta weekly series LA TM Pro Series, Free Cal Coast Cup, the Baker Cup, and Midnight Cup. What the heck are all these oh little cups Lordy. that are popping up? <laughs> this is go. a pretty big week for tournaments, though. Uh, Twelve tournaments. We have a, a very big sample size. I week. think I think people are getting ready for Worlds because if you look at the power rankings, and we pretty much listen, guys. I can't edit like Circus, so <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> we have the we have a slideshow of all the all the top decks, the top five decks, and the uh, overall standings. Automats again, like we 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 had a week where it felt like automats weren't really topping that much, but they were they were. Yep. Uh, and it's just when you go from a hundred point differential to a fifty point differential, you don't wanna. You feel like it's better, but in reality, it's you know what 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 what, what are they gonna do? What's Konami gonna do, man? Like this is crazy. Fifty points again for automats. Yeah. Like that's the most just... the most that we have seen in the recent weeks is some emerging decks. You know, just to call out Vendreds, Witchcrafters, yeah. and Gaia starting to come up and actually be like the only viable decks that really have a an effective strategy against automats right they yeah. are very good at their own thing just like automats are very consistent and bring out exist monster threats every turn your typical deck that you know uh, makes a boss monster and puts back on the field every every turn every other turn it's not good enough uh, just, <laughs> just typically we're seeing yeah. so these decks with these you know kind of outlandish core strategies are doing better now because yeah. of it well vindred specifically uh yes just because that's a deck that i'm working on a video on right now they're not even playing like normal vindreds they're playing yeah. discount luna lights but they yeah. have the additional bonus of having origin engraved for protection which yeah, if you want to talk about vindreds yeah. for a little bit that that's a really interesting deck really old not much has changed at all no. but they're <laughs> banking on the fact that they can make un completely untargetable monsters that are not yeah. affected by any card effects on the field and they're extremely hard to remove once they are there yeah so again that's just something that no other deck does right now that they can do very well the problem with it up, though you know. is i feel like mm -hmm. that was more effective like in the beginning when it was a surprise yeah well, now quote unquote it surprise, is. but now it's now it's like getting destroyed and torn <laughs> now people are like oh people can actually win with this huh? yeah and All now right. they're like okay let's let's see what you can do against this you know uh it doesn't help because one of the other decks you mentioned witchcrafter which yes. uh it didn't have a top five but every time you do watch witchcrafter you're like i see the potential here uh obviously it, it, it has a very poor witchcrafter matchup um i'm actually surprised witchcrafter didn't make it top five with with how many i think they won a tournament uh this past yeah week they well. did but their overall representation is just not good enough no. <laughs> you know whereas one witchcrafter person made a top eight this week 
Yeah. Uh, made that made that tournament win. Vendreds did a little bit better. This will put them at number five. Yeah. I think they just had a. Uh, they had like another top eight in Meta Weekly or something, and then they had like a second place yep. finish uh, in a battle phase or something like that. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of expected Witchcraft to slide in. I think they'll slide in eventually. But, you know, at this point, it's just kind of like uh, Automat's kind of like, you know, you know that Simpsons mean where they have all those monkeys fighting each other and then it's like uh, <laughs> Bart and all that. They're like throwing money at it. <laughs> it's yeah, that, but that it's just all the, all the all the gaga gas just throwing it at the other decks because a 50 point differential before like all this yes. happened. That's insane. Mm. You know that even that would have been a record. uh before yeah. the this week, one. something I did notice this week, there was another explosion for Onomats. Uh, this week, probably just because there were 12 tournaments, Onomats had 283 no. representation. Mm-hmm. That is that blows away any number that we've seen from them in the past couple weeks, especially the ones where they were just blowing other decks out of the water. So 220, that beats Harpies by uh, more than double. Mm-hmm. So this this representation differential as well is huge this week. And a deck like Harpies next to them on the power rankings, not even picking up a top three position. Yeah, I think most of those automats too are from the GG Tour tournament. That one had like four hundred players, <laughs> yeah. and there was like eighty <laughs> something automats <laughs> that entered. People so want to win, dude. People, they, wanna, people win. wanna win. It's the best deck, and you know what really makes it the best deck is in Duel Links. Uh, you know the philosophy is obviously the best thing you can do is is to kill your opponent in a single turn. Right? Like, that's the right. best thing that can happen. But if you can't destroy your opponent, then the next best thing you can do to them is put them in a top deck situation mode. The thing mm-hmm. is, though, Automats are either going to top deck into something like Book of Moon or so the King's Shane, a top deck dude, Or, like, you know, yeah, they'll just skill into Automata Head, and then that's it. Like, what are you supposed to do? You know, they like they get the perfect top deck every single time. Right, um, when it comes down to the wire, they are going to just have what they yeah, need more yeah. times than you are. So literally the only way is to either make them not play with, you know, Witchcrafter or Vindred, uh, you know, locking them out from targeting, or or to kill them in a single turn, which usually comes down to the mirror match, you know. Uh, back row on a has been popping up as well. Right. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, the other decks we can talk about, Harpies and Resonators, um, as well as Gaia. Uh, we could talk yeah, about not those. too much have changed about them. I would say Guy has effectively worked its way into being a top three deck. Yeah, I think sure. just like like uh, where you look at Vendreds and Witchcrafters, Guy is a proven point of like, oh wow, a rogue deck that does mm-hmm. something kind of unique, but it still you know incorporates you know the Treacherous Trap Hole, <laughs> yeah. whatever you want, Book of Moon yeah. Engine. Yeah into your deck you know it's it's doing it and it's doing it just as good as resonators and harpy mm-hmm. have been for the past couple weeks so it's good to see that they are still competing but they still have their core weaknesses over automats so very easily interruptible yeah uh, you know that's that's what prevents them from taking taking the top spot harpies is probably because really harpies comes down to how you open right they don't have a consistency skill they just play right um so if you brick it's like awful but when you don't brick that that deck feels kind of oppressive uh yeah. guy is just nice because it just locks your opponent from being able to really do anything um and then of course resonator is just it's literally it has an automatic play skill just with restrictions on it so it makes sense uh that it's in second place i think for a while now resonator has been second place right I yeah they have part. been harpies have not even touched it yeah in a while <laughs> you know since the automat nerfs resonators are just kind of like you know boneless automats they yeah. do what they do a little bit less good. <laughs> pretty, know, that, pretty much, that's essentially yeah. it. So, Kamel, if you had to make a tier list, me personally, I'd probably be like, all right, Soul Tier 1, Automats, Resonator, Harpy, Gaia, Tier 3. That's what I would say. What would, what would, would Do you think it's a Tier 0, or what do, you, what do you think? 50 points is a lot. I could see the argument. 50 points is a lot. You know, you could argue Tier 0, but I want to say, I don't want to say it's Tier 0 just because... A good pilot on some of these other decks, you know, yeah. you can beat Automats. Yeah, yeah. You can beat Automats. It is just that Automats do win nine times out of ten <laughs> of their matchups. That is why they are on the top oh, every single my week. God. But I, I, I do think, like what you're saying, it's that top deck potential that yeah. really just stops these. You know, that would stop a good player with a good guy hand, good harpy player with a good harpy hand from being able to close out a game versus automats mm-hmm. right that that's all there's the optic potential 
good cards when they need them. That is the ultimate factor. Automatic is way more consistent. Yeah. These decks are way less uninterruptible. Here's hoping that 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 random uh, rumor about the 17th ban list because of the weird wording and Konami's 17th world ban list. List. oh my god that's the <laughs> next copium that's the next that's copium the- dude because <laughs> you know you know how like last time they're like oh world's duelists have to follow the ban list and then the ban list dropped they, oh, did, it, they yes, did it again they did it again for the 17th yes, you know, look at the world's right. so everyone's like don't worry guys new ban list 17th <laughs> i don't know we'll see i'm i'm hoping i'm hopeful i guess uh, yeah, Kamel, if people want to join these tournaments to play in them, where should they go? All you got to do is join the Duel Links Entertainment Discord. Make sure once you're in the Discord that you check the announcements tab. It is updated every single day with the tournament signups for the following day. That's for all dual, uh, DLE tournaments, Battle Phase events. And if you would like to get in an event, all you have to do is sign up on Smash GG and we just have to watch it. Watch on Twitch.tv slash Duel Links Entertainment. We also do new player help with the Discord, and that's free. The tournaments are free. So knock yourself out and ask us what you think about the power rankings this week. Let us know what you'd like us to include as well. And show Circus some love, guys. He misses you. <laughs> yeah, so everyone, I want the comments just full of Circus, I miss you. Come back. Kiss, kiss. Exactly yep. those words. All right, boys. For me and Kamel, goodbye. Good night. I love you. Peace out. <laughs>